Hello everyone, welcome back to another great day at Jimra. Who loves you and who do you love? Jimra. Today we're gonna modify everything yet again. We're gonna go one arm, one leg. As always, I need for you to stretch out a little bit, so follow along, okay? We'll do 15 reps of each. Give me a nice low squat, come up, breathe out, really open up on the top, okay? Down low, breathe out on the way up. Two, three, four, breathe out, reach and extend, five, just 10 more. You wanna properly warm up so that the body and the mind can go into the exercise really well. And you feel like you're totally in control. You don't wanna ever go into and then pull a hammy or anything like that. How you doing? Good. Let's go two more. Breathe out. Last one. Excellent, shake it off just real quick. Next, we're gonna go from a side and then to a crunch like so. 15 each side, okay? Both hands up, breathe. Two, three, four, five. Keep your abs tense. Breathe out when you go down. Five more. All of your weight should be on the standing leg. Let's go one more. Good. Shake it off again. Reach and extend and stretch and ready, pull. Breathe out when you bring it in. Remember, total control. If you go too fast and you lose your balance, then it means you're going too fast. If you go too slow, that should be fine too. Because this is more of a stretch. And good. All right, shake it off again. Back to the legs. We're gonna do a squat. As you go down, come up, reach. Down, come up, reach. So now we're getting the legs warmed up, along with your side, your obliques. Reach. Breathe out this time on the way up. You should feel that your breathing like mine is escalating. Muscles getting warmed up. Heart rate's going a little faster. It's exactly what we want. A nice steady warm up. And Good. All right, one more, okay? Hitting the legs and the upper body. Step back for me into a lunge. Reach into the opposite direction. <sighs> Lightly touch your knee onto the ground. That way, you have more of a stretch. Light workout. Not too much on the quad just yet. This is just a warm up. Reach across. Breathe out. When you're down for the stretch, reach across. Let's go a couple more. Two more each side. Last one. Get that awesome reach. Good job. So again, pull a little bit. Give me a little bit of an extra stretch here. Control your breathing. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, and slow down your breathing. You don't want to hyperventilate. You want to relax into it. Give yourself another 10 seconds here. Pull the leg back, push the front backward right here. Get all that hip flexor, so as quads. And one last one, spin down. Get your head, relax the shoulders, get the calves, get the hammies. Come up, always come up slow. All right, now we're gonna pull the bench in. If you guys don't have a bench, use a chair and use a table. Anything where you can have a little lean on, even a box, anything that's stable. Okay, so we're gonna grab the first weight. Should be a comfortable weight because we're gonna do the one arm row. And we're gonna modify it a little bit too. Typically you see somebody just doing like this. That's fine, 
but it's too staple. We gotta throw your body a little bit out of stability so that your core works harder. So I'm gonna do the first set on the same leg with the arm and the other arm, the other leg up. And here we go. One, two. You see, I'm struggling to keep balance right now. That's good. Cause that means I'm working a lot more on the intrinsic muscles just to stay balanced. And always breathe down the way up and watch your back that you don't round off like this. Okay, always try to keep your, pop, your purser, posture perfect. Couldn't even say that right. Let's go two more. One, two, good. So now when I switch side, instead of doing it on the same arm, same leg, I'm gonna switch so that leg is just gonna stay the same just to show you how it's done, okay? So normally now I would do this leg, but I'm gonna switch so it's the opposite. As you can see, opposite makes it a lot easier because I can balance so much better. So if this is hard for you, keep this. If you go the other route, same arm, balance here, same leg, and if that's just enough of a, of a challenge, awesome. But if not, go back to this route. Let's go two more. Breathe down the way up. Nice. I feel all that stretch and work on my hamstrings too. Okay, once again, if you don't have a bench, you can absolutely do it on floor, okay? This one we're gonna go with one arm chest press. So, legs down on the ground. This one's to pull me over to my right, which means my core has to work a lot harder just to stay balanced. So if you're like, eh, this is kinda easy, well, make it harder. Legs up. And if the weight you're using is heavy enough, hold on to the bench with the other hand to really stabilize it. But trust me, your core is engaged big time. Breathe on the way up. Let's go two more. Excellent. So switching sides, okay? So again, keep it here. This is good. I'm gonna make it harder. Bring the legs up. If that's too hard, keep both legs on the bench like so. Hold on to the side here for support. You wanna go full range, that's according to you, okay? If this is good for you because of your elbow and shoulders, great. If not, bring it down where you have total control, and then bring it all the way up. Let's go two more. Excellent. All right, good job. All right, let's get the bench off the way, and then we'll go into the legs. Okay, so right off the chest, I want you guys to hit legs. Now we're gonna do a typical one leg deadlift. Okay, so always easier is opposite. So you would do this, right? One, two, as you can see, this leg, the straighter you can keep it, the harder it is on your hamstrings. If you need a little help, you can bend it a little bit and then pull it up. Let's do 15 reps, breathe out on the way up. So now how do you modify to make it harder? Same leg, same arm. Keep count for me, 15 reps. Breathe out on the way up. Let's go two more, one and two. Now switch side, go again. So remember, easy is the opposite. So breathe out, up. Hold on to a weight that's comfortable for you. Not too light where you don't feel any contraction on your hamstrings, but not too heavy that when you go down, your body actually rounds down too much to come up, okay? So again, I'm gonna modify, keep it on the same side, and you can see I'm a lot more wobbly because it makes it much more challenging. Let's go two more. 
One and two. Very good. All right, we're gonna put that to the side real quick. Get you down on the ground. We gotta do some abs, okay? First step we're gonna do is just regular side crunches. Again, because we wanna hit more of one side over the other. It makes you work a little bit harder, okay? So lie down sideways, but not on your hip bone. Come back a little bit so you're on your butt. This hand is down. You're gonna push it up on your elbow. Bring the knee and the elbow on top together. Extend out, but don't put your feet on the ground. 15 each side, okay, that was one. Breathe out on the way up, go. Two, three, four. To make it harder, keep the legs straight. Five, breathe on the way up. Six, seven, to vary, make it easier. Pull it in, seven, eight. You notice it's easier because the lever arm is shorter. Make it harder, lever arm is longer, which means there's more weight for you to lift up. Let's go two more. One and two. Great job. Switch it up. Always keep your abs tight all throughout the exercise, okay? Hands down and Remember, make it easier by pulling it in, but always keep the legs straight on the extension outward. When you breathe out, on the way up. Let's go two more. Great job, all right, get back on up. Okay, next we got bicep curls. You can do this in so many ways. The way I like for you to do it, we're gonna do a V curl, so you have to balance. Arms on one side, if you need to, hold onto the bench, like so. So now, the abs that you worked so hard on just a second ago, they're on fire now. And if you can do it, don't have that hand for support, but again, the more, higher you have your legs, the harder. So if you hold onto the bench, pull it up, do so. Challenge yourself. Pop it. Let's go two more. Woo! Course toast. Try it again now. Remember, easier, legs down, hold on to the side. Breathe on the way up. Harder, legs up higher. <sighs> Harder still, no hands, no legs, all curls. <sighs> and if it gets tough to at the end, bring it for a little support, <sighs> and bring it down, because <sighs> you want to focus on your bicep too, and pull, <sighs> let's go two more. <sighs> One more, <sighs> ooh, keep that tightness. You work really hard on your abs, keep it tight. Let's put that down. Pick a lighter one for your tricep kickback. Okay, again, just like when we did the row, we're gonna do the kickback the same way. Same side is harder, pull it up. These are 10 pounds, the other ones were 20s. So hold it here, one, two. Notice my head is looking straight down. I'm not doing this, because if you do this, you're straining your neck, right? All right, to make it easier, watch. See how much easier that is? When you do the opposite side, the body balance is much better. Let's go two more. One, squeeze. Ooh, two. Good burn right there by keeping it still. Let's go to the other side. So again, start on the easier way when you need to. I'm gonna start on the harder way first. Right hand, right leg down, and one, two, three, four. The higher you keep the elbow, five, the harder. Six, seven, eight, let's switch it up. You don't have to switch. If you can keep it on the other side, more power to you. Let's go two more. Focus on your triceps. Kick back, squeeze. Kick back, squeeze. Good job, oh my god. All right, let's get back on the floor. Let's 
Okay, so in the abs, I need that 10 pound back that you hit the triceps with. This time, it's a crunch, but a push into the opposite side, okay? One variation, two, pull it down, press it up nice and tall, three, four, five, to change it up, you can have this leg up, reach for it, one, two, three, four, five, change it up again if you want, one, so they're both down, two, both up, three, four, and five, wow, switch sides, okay, keep this one lightly bent, first one, it's just up on five, one, two, three, and remember, breathe out, four, when you contract the muscles you're doing. It's like variation. One, two, three, four, five. And change it up again. Bring it down. Bring it up. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, well done. All right, so take a little break if you need to. Wipe off, get a little water. We'll go into the next segment right away. So give yourself about 10, 15 seconds for us, or a little bit more if you need to, and then we'll start off from the beginning again, okay? All right, so we'll start off first again with the one-arm row. We start off first with the easier way. So opposite, this, that. Left hand, right leg, perfect posture. <sighs> Breathe out on the way up. And you pull up as much as you can. If the body twists a little bit, that's fine too. Just make sure you keep your core tight. Now you wanna get a little bit more difficult. Change up and go again. <sighs> Don't look up, keep your head down. Breathe on the way up, but try to go full range down. Don't just come halfway down. Let's go two more, okay? Breathe, one, two, Woo. All right, let's go to the other side. So, remember, it's here, opposite, all right? That makes it easier. So, perfect posture, one, two, and I'm looking straight down, not up. Breathe. And of course, you wanna make it harder? Go in the same arm, same leg. And if that leg starts to drop a little bit, pick it up. You wanna challenge your body. You work on your back, but it's the legs, the core, hamstrings and everything. Two more. One. Two, good. Now we're back on the chest. All right. Remember, start out easy first. If you know your strength, go into the harder one first. The easiest one is hand, legs on the ground. One, two, come back in the middle, come outside. Three, four. Focus on your chest and shoulders and arms. Make it harder. Bring the legs up here. Make it harder still. Bring your legs straight up. Let's go two more. Good job. Again, start easy, switch side. Go outside right at the armpit. Come in toward the center. Breathe out on the way up. That's when you're contracting your chest your triceps, and your shoulders. All right, make it a little bit harder. Legs on top. If you feel it, hold on to here. You gotta stabilize, because you're working so hard on the other side. Make it harder still. Bring it straight up. Balance if you need to. Do not fall over. Please, 
Focus on what you can and cannot do. You need to be 100% engaged and in control at all times, okay? One more. Good job. All right, next one we have the one leg deadlift. So let's move that. All right, one leg deadlift. Start out easier by going the opposite hand, opposite leg. Try your best to keep that leg straight if you can. If not, lightly bend is more than fine. Try to keep your chest and shoulders up at all time. So you work on the hamstring and the butt much harder. Now the leg that kicks back, that helps you balance more. Make it harder, keep it balanced right next to the other leg. Make it harder still, same arm, same leg. Breathe out on the way up. Let's go two more. Great job. Remember, you do it. You want even balance on the heel and the toes, okay? So I'm gonna go easier first, opposite leg. Two. Here's another key. Three, keep your eyes fixated on something on the ground. That will help you with what's called your proprioception. If you're down, then you look up, then you go down. That's too much of a swing, okay? You wanna keep your eyes on something on the ground, then come up. And switch leg if you wanna make it harder. Keep your balance. Hamstring, one leg deadlift is very, it's crazy. As you're doing it, you're like, eh, I feel a little bit, but wait till the, later on in the day, one more or the next day. Good job, if you haven't done it in a while, I guarantee you, you're gonna hurt. So make sure you always stretch out, okay? We got abs. So, side crunches to begin with. Lie down sideways. Last time we started on the other side. It doesn't matter, start on this side. Easiest, knee and elbows together. Open up on the way down. Breathe out, two, three, four. Make it harder, keep your legs straight. Vary it again, go hoo, 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 hoo. So you actually hold on to that crunch while you burn more of your hip flexors and your quads and the lower abs. One more. That was a good adage to it. Because what you want to do is always challenge your body. All right, catch your breath. Other side. Palms up is harder, palms down is easier. One, two, and try to keep your feet in the air. Three, it's five. So make it harder, palms up, straight leg. Make it harder still, up, then one, then two. Then three, then four, and five. Ooh, catch your breath, that was good. We got, we got bicep curls coming up next, okay? Let's get the bench back in. All right, we got curl time, and we wanna do V curls. Balance up, easiest, it's just balance on your butt. Go full range on the arm. Allow it to come all the way down, then all the way up. Make it harder, I'm gonna hold onto the bench. Leg straight, my core is burnt. I can't lift it up any higher, but I'll try. You can keep the arms out this way, which makes it harder. You can turn a hammer, and curl it up to make it easier. One more. Curl up. Catch your breath. You wanna be in total control, so if you need to catch a little bit, do so, okay? 
other side. Two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna challenge myself. No hands. I'm exhausted. I hope you are too. Try to keep that chest up. Curl up high. Burn, legs or toes, abs, toes, biceps burn. It's a good one. Let's go two more. Ooh, one, and uh, two. Good, kickback time. So we rest the biceps, hit the triceps. They are what's called your antagonist muscles, the opposite. When one does the work, the other one rests. So make it easy. Opposite hand and leg, pull it up, breathe. Focus on your triceps. Four, five. Remember, focus on that leg too. Now, make it harder, switch legs. Get your balance first, pull it up. Let's go two more. Squeeze and squeeze. Good job, oh my God. You feeling it? You better. If not, the weight you're using is too light and you're not focusing enough. I bet I know you're doing great. Opposite again, pull, breathe, kick. You should feel it, right? If you want to, keep going. If not, switch it, or you could have switched from the beginning, okay? Lock it out, focus on your triceps. Kick back. Let's go two more. One, let's go one more. Squeeze, two. Ooh, good job. You should really feel a burn in your triceps. All right, once again, we got legs to hit. One leg, squat. Okay, again, you can sit on the edge, the table, the chair, anything where it gives you a little bit of a depth. So nice and tall, lightly sit. One, two, breathe down the way up. If you feel really tired and out of control, of course, sit down, recover a little bit, but try not to. Tense up your arms, breathe and squeeze. My legs are so tired by now. Hope yours are too, but that's what we want, right? A good strong pump and push through that tiredness, push through that burn. <sighs> Who's stronger, you or stopping? Two more, push, Ugh. one more, push. Ugh. Holy moly, that burns real good. All right, shake it off, find your position again. Deep breath, and here we go. Lightly touch, one. Tense up the arms, pop, two. Three. Four. You're at the home stretch, focus. Feel that energy searching through your body. Come on, bring it home, there's the finish line. Tense it up, feel the electricity coursing through your veins. You got this, pump it up. All out, breathe, two more, breathe, one more, breathe, ah. Ooh. all right, good. Let's hit the abs again, here we go. Remember, this is a full sit up into the cross. So we start, this time on the left side. Legs bent, keep your toes up, because if they're down, you're not working on these guys, your shin. All the way up, reach. Bring your back down to the armpit, just like you do in the chest press. And because you're working on your abs, keep your abs tight, focus on your abs. Modify, right? Reach for it, one, reach, two. And modify again, bring it together.
Good job. You should struggle. If you're not struggling, you're not lifting high enough. You're not going strong enough. You can do this. Toes up. Deep breath. Three, two, one. Go. Reach. Tight. Reach. Breathe out. Keep it tight on the way down. All right, let's modify. Leg straight up, reach. Last five, burn it out. Combined, leg lift and crunch. Breathe on the way up. Last one. Mm. Ooh, good Lord. Well done. All right, everyone. That's great, now we gotta recover, okay? Which means we gotta lightly go through the stretches again. Breathe through your nose. Calmly breathe out through your mouth. Control your breathing. Shake the arms and legs, just like the first, okay? Sumo squat stands, deep down, round, up. Control your breathing. Slow everything down. Let's go three more. One. Breathe. Two, inhale. On the way down, exhale. Three. Excellent. Again, 10 and 10 each side here. Nice and steady, ready, go. One, two. I focus all the weight evenly on the heel and toes of this leg. Reach and stretch, one more. Good, shake it off. 10 more here. Five. Last five. Bring it home, everyone. Last one, stretch. Great job. We're just gonna do a few pulls, and that's it. Arm, get the shoulder stretch. Turn the body, relax. Good, breathe. Other side. Relax and calm everything down. And you did a lot with the weights with the hands. So again, stretch out that forearm. Every time you stretch, it should feel good. Never strain, okay? And you always wanna to remember too, when you eat before the workout, now let's go with the legs. Everyone's different. General guideline is anywhere 30 minutes to an hour before your workout. Eating after the workout, pretty much as soon as you can. High protein base, lots of greens, so that all of that energy gets replenished right away into your muscles. So you replenish what you spent so much on, okay? And last one, just do two or three each side. Give me a squat, push the hip, reach, deep breath. Other side, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's go one more each side. Excellent, excellent job, everybody. Give yourself a round pause. You did a phenomenal job. Again, please come back, visit us. Tell us what you like, what you don't like, what you wanna see more of, and we'll be happy to provide it for you. Once again, who loves you and who do you love? Jimra, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you. What's up, Jimra? It's Laura Myron. We just finished filming our good morning salutation, 15 minutes of yoga. You cannot tell me that you don't have 15 minutes. Get your butt out of bed 15 minutes earlier. It makes a huge difference in how you feel, in your focus, in your energy, in your body. 15 minutes a day. I know you can do this, and I can't wait to see you on the mat.
When you first log in, you'll be asked about your connection speed to ensure that you have the smoothest viewing experience. Click on Settings to adjust your connection at any time. On the Workout page, you'll find a difficulty slider that allows you to choose your fitness level. When switched to Show All, you can browse routines for all levels. To filter the level of difficulty, switch off the Show All button and adjust the slider. Once you've selected your desired level, click on a category to see all the workouts available for that level. If you'd like to view our full-length routines, click on the Video Streaming tab for a selection of workouts in a variety of categories. To familiarize yourself with the app features, click on the Menu tab on the right-hand side of the screen to access the About page. Here you'll find information about all the app features. You can refer back to this page at any time, but if you still have questions that haven't been answered, we're here to help. I want to invite you to join one of 50 free workout programs at gymra.com. You're never going to get bored and you'll have enough workouts to keep you busy for years to come. I know that's exciting. You'll never hit that workout plateau. Let me show you a little bit about what you can expect. When you sign up for a free account on gymra.com, you'll be asked whether you'd like to be assigned a program based on several basic questions about your fitness level and goals. If you'd rather browse the programs and weigh your options, click on No, I do not want any programs. Head to the Programs tab and scroll to find a program that fits your needs. As you can see, we cover everything from weight loss to toning and sculpting, yoga, Pilates, abs, lower body, upper body, we have it all. Now let me show you how the programs work. If you've chosen to be on a program, when you log into gymra.com, you'll be directed to the My Program page, featuring your workout of the day. All you have to do is press play and start exercising. To see details about the workout, click on More Info. The animated GIFs below are the individual moves in the routine. Here, you can see your workout at a glance. You also have access to your personalized weekly and monthly calendar. You can change your program by clicking on the Change Program button. Simply click on See All, then select your desired program. Watch the introduction video and check out the details by scrolling down the page. If the program looks like a good fit for you, then simply click on Switch to this program and you're all set. Your new program will start automatically. If you're unable to do the workout, save it for later by clicking on the plus button next to the title. This adds it to my list. I want to thank you for choosing Jimra. I know you have a lot of options. We've spent so much time and effort here to bring you world-class trainers, a huge variety of workouts, and it's all for free. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoy the free workout programs, and we'll see you soon.